Ben Horner for MBTV here with Graham Everett and John Faxton. Um, the after, dream team? Yeah. After a successful weekend in Braintree. Very successful. Um, I'm going to start with yourself, John. Um, you're in Zafin's corner, first fight on the night. Everyone sort of made clear with the performance Zafin put in, um, as well as yourself. But what did you make of it, you know? I, I thought Zafin boxed the best he'd ever boxed. Came in, and do you know what? He, he, was, he was listening to what we were saying and going out and delivering it. Spot on performance. Kept the work rate up, kept going. When he's in trouble, which is why he hands up when a guy comes to attack, his hands up, done everything we told him to do, went and done it. Quality, quality performance. Two of the newer boys, Alan Ratib and Ryan Frost. Unfortunately, Ryan went over in the second, but again, sort of a flash knockdown similar to the, yeah. his, yeah. his I, debut. Personally, I think he got his feet tangled up. Um, there's, there's something that we did notice on the night. Um, we spoke to Russ and, and we're all going to get that sorted, a little mistake he's making, but um, he, he had a good, good live opponent, he's a pro debut, good experienced amateur kid, so we're well happy with that. Alan, Alan is, you know, with his army of fans, Alan boxed well, he grew into the fight, um, looked really good and, he, and he's improving all the time, he's a very hard worker and uh, he's a really good lad, really good lad. Someone um, similar to yourself, John, likes a knockout. Joe, the hitman Hearn, as I like to call him. Um, yeah, well, what can we say? Well, I, I spoke to Graham before, and I said, that this fight with Joe, how's it going to go to a lot? Will be points. I said, points, really? He said, yeah, this kid never gets knocked out. First round, bang. You know, he hits you, you're gone. He hit him and he went. Hey, I like yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. Um, as strange as it seems, it's the most controlled I've seen Joe go out. I know, I know Russ has been really work, trying to work him hard, and when he comes over here, we're trying to work him hard. I'm working beyond his jab. It's just, he's just got, he's got to use that jab. But it's, he did do fine. that, didn't he? He done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and he did, and he's improving. But you know, he has got that. Um, he's got that. We call that dynamite punch, hasn't he? You know. So the hard job now is matching him. I spoke to Mervyn Turner after, and he he sort of mentioned that he'd be more than willing to fight at southern area level with Joe now. Um, yeah. Is that something that you yeah. can see on the radar? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's an easy, uh, hopefully he'll be boxing for a title in, in Norwich in July. Um, just get as much experience as we can and, and go from there, you know. But he's, he's, he's exactly what he is. He's a grafter. Um, he'll be in the gym this week, you know, straight back in with us. And he'll be looking to come up there and spar at uh, the weekend. So that's, that's Joe. Someone training behind you. Um, been a long time coming. Yeah, yeah, I was very pleased with Nathan the other night. He, he boxed, he boxed to instructions. He boxed very well, very sharp. He pushed himself, you know, because the, because his opponent was negative and rightly so, you know. He's just, um, I think Nathan caught him in the first the first minute, and after that, that was like he tucked in and survived, you know. But um, it, was, it was good. Nathan tried to op open him up, worked hard, pushed himself through. So it's, it's another box ticked. Uh, you know, so back again in July for him. Um, Nathan would have been coming through into the pro game sort of towards the end of your pro career, John. Like, what's it like to see the progression in Nathan? Oh, yeah. I, I always say he's sort of the next John Faxton, you know, like taken over from you in Norwich. He's, and he's very different style-wise to me, but, you know, nice kid. He works hard. He's very dedicated, you know, and he next guy. He, he's, very, like, he's very passionate about his boxing. You know, and he's improving throughout. Shame he had the time off, but you know, sometimes. They say you know, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, he, he's gone back. He's, he's in the gym every day. Although he had the time off, he's still been in the gym every day. Um, his performance on Saturday, just what he needed. Good six rounds, good pace. Took the kid out of the comfort zone. And we'll go on. He'll go on from there. To headline the bill, we couldn't have had a better fight, really. Is no. Well, we always knew that that fight was going to be difficult. Um, the, the kid, the kid brought it. I mean, he's he's far, far bet, better than that record. Nobody, nobody really, you know. There, there is people who are on the road as such, who, who get put, you know, who get plenty of work, but nobody really wants him. He's he's, he's he, he comes to fight. He works hard. He's a good puncher. Um, and I think Billy come through a couple of sticky moments there. You know, I definitely thought he won, and I thought he won clearer than that. Yeah. But you know, it was a great fight. Um, you know, so, uh, and, and it was the first one in Braintree in his hometown. 
I thought, I thought Billy answered a lot of questions the other night, so I was very, very pleased with that. Um, a few weeks on now from the night that Liam and Ryan Walsh once again made history by defending their British titles on the same night. Yeah. Um, we'll start off with Ryan. What did you make of Ryan's performance on that night? Um, brilliant. That's, that's as good as that. That's all I'm going to say. Brilliant. Done everything he should do and he done it well. Where do you see Ryan going on from there? Defending his British title next. Maybe, you know, he'd like to fight for the Commonwealth, he'd like to fight for the European and obviously he's not, he's not a million miles from world, world, world title standard. Liam Walsh, once again, absolutely amazing performance. Yeah, um, just, just remember that was a, that was a comeback warm-up fight from injury. He went straight in for a British and Commonwealth title fight over 12 rounds. So it's not really much of a warm-up, was it? No. But he'd done exactly what he had to do. He looked quality. You know, he took Troy James way out of his comfort zone. Um, credit to Troy James, he dug in and worked hard. But to be fair, uh, you know, Liam is world class. Um, and let's, let's see what happens. There's something you've always said, John, that Liam is world class and you see him going all the way. How many more fights do you see Liam at this level before that world title will come? If the world title will come, Liam can take it now. It's simple as that. He's that good, he's a thinker, he's always in the gym, he's very patient and he does everything correct, everything proper, you know, and um, he's done it his way, he's, he's fantastic how he's done it, he's gone about it and, um, you know, he's ready now. Um, finally, Liam Walsh has been um, uh, put to purse bids again um, for the fight with Martin J. Ward. Do we see this coming off or? Uh, we don't know. It's, it's we, we, don't, we don't know if it's made and, it, you know, Liam will fight whoever's put in him. This is all down to politics now, see where we go, see what's happening. Um, then, then that question will be answered uh, at the beginning of next month. And I'm guessing that's going to be the same with Sam Sexton, Dave Allen for the English title. Yeah, let's, let's see what comes up because Yuri, Yuri Fury through illnesses is pulled out of the, um, the British title fight. Um, so there's some more juggling to do, isn't there? You know? So that's all, let's see what happens. You know? But uh, Sexton will be ready for whatever happens. Uh, when can we catch boxing again locally? Um, July, we'll be finalised this week, but we're looking at July. Um, the last show before the summer break. It's much of a break, but um, you know, we'll be look, looking to come back and hopefully we've got some really good things lined up for that show. So um, watch this space. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time, both of you. Thank and you. Thank you, you again soon. Thank you. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You.